Another day, another Guild War. Uh, let's go to 20B. Already the team has started. Let's just make sure we've got that tip-top loadout. Yes, I want Tactical on Sasha's armor. Mercer, you're all good. Commonwealths and Speedies. Two pretty frightening walker types. But I think we got this. Okay, first things first, let's slow down that speedy, shall we? And let's put some shots into those Commonwealth walkers. Obviously, the more hurt they are, the more vulnerable they are. So... Yeah, we're all about getting their hit points down and then being able to actually inflict status effects like incendiary, as we have there. Or, uh, you know, or crippling them, whatever. Definitely, I, I really think they're a very interesting challenge to go up against any time that they are in the map. You know, you know you've got something to think about. They are an immense distraction. Obviously, there's a lot of other walker types that are absolutely deadly. But the Commonwealth, you just... You never quite know uh, what's going to happen with it. Are you going to be able to... Hey, Io. Uh, affect it with statuses or, or anything like that. Hey. Okay, but so far, so good. Those two kind of went down. Kind of went down like chumps. Right, you've got to be crippled. Uh, I like the fact that Mercer is fully charged. That's great. Pretty small map. Kind of, uh, kind of a good thing. It does mean that you can be a bit compressed. You know, those walkers are, are kind of on top of you no matter where you are. But at the same time, less of the map to navigate. I think we've got this one and that will be a very good start for us. Yeah, go on. Just do that. What do you know? Nice and quick, nice and easy. And of course, I've already got some teammates working on this mission, uh, this island as well. So, we can do hopefully what I like to do, which is just get ahead, get loads and loads of points. You know, just streak ahead of the enemy and then stay there in terms of the points. I think that's a that's a good way to begin. <laughs> well, that speedy's getting all the love here. Let's get a look up here. Let's see what we've got to deal with. Another speedy. Again, another one, sort of looks like a warehouse or something. A lot of blind corners. This is where the decimator can really, really come in handy because you can you can blind fire it. Okay, we've got another Commonwealth. Better make sure that I am out of range of him. Because we can't guarantee that we're going to be able to slow him down. There you go, we have just slowed him down. Go on, Mercer. Hit that target with a Man at Arms attack. Get some charge points. Can we finish him off? I think we probably can if we do that. Hey, Io. Cat's really, really after attention at <laughs> today. Every time that I do a video, she comes along. Okay, nothing too scary here. We've got that requisite kill count. We've got to kill seven more walkers. That's always just, I mean, that's just a given. Um, I don't think it's ever got to the point where I've, I've managed to successfully get across the map and then gone, oh no, I haven't killed enough walkers. I've got to get out. It just, that always just works itself out. And it's always best if you're at the back of the map. That's the, the best place to do your killing. You're already where you want to be. You are ready to escape. Come on, one walker. Yep. 
Yeah. Okay, excellent. Not a struggle at all. Not a struggle at all. Uh, let's go for these ones here. Search for clues. Tough mission type. Can we do it? I'm confident that we can. But it's... Uh, yeah, it really throws a wrinkle in there. You have to go through, search those crates. Let's see what we're dealing with here. All right, we've got these guys. We've got to slow you down because you're a speedy. Let's get Mercer to the back of the map. And yes, I am aware that there is that to search as well. Just kind of want to make sure that my guys are safe. Uh, that speedy could potentially get us. Okay, this is this is a little bit tricky because there's a lot of walkers out there and a lot of them are speedies. Let's just do that indirect fire that I was talking about. Let's stun some enemies. Oh boy, this is... Okay, what are we going to do here? I think, I think we're going to do that. I think we can do that. Let's see if we can get that metal head on fire. Good, we can. One, two. Yeah, I've got to leave Mercer there. Just because otherwise that walker would have got him. I think we do this. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a this is a tricky map. This is all flipping blind corners, and and the uh, the threat counter is really ticking over quickly. I want to keep hold of Mercer's charge attack, just so that we can deal with what is going to be coming after us as the threat counter hits zero. You can have a nice, tasty charge attack. Still not quite done enough. Right, Mercer, you take care of that little problem. And what we're doing is we are really spinning our wheels here. We are not uh, successfully advancing. But what we are doing is we are taking out the biggest threats. We are taking out the metal heads, all of that stuff. And then once that's done, it's easier to advance. It's not the same thing as it being completely safe to advance, but we can move forward with a little bit uh, uh, of peace of mind. It's just that flipping, it's that threat counter. The way that that is ticking over so quickly. The problem that is presenting is that, of course, we have to search these crates. Finding the time out in a turn to do that when what we really need and want to be doing is mowing down walkers makes for a challenge. So this is a bit of a slow-paced mission. This is one where patience is the key. We've got what we needed. There we go. We got what we wanted from that crate. Now we've just got to get to the end and there is a spiky walker serving as a big boss. Let's get him on fire. Okay, I'd like for Mercer to have more charge points. Well, that's that's okay. That spiky, we've caused a lot of damage already. Let's get right up in his face. Hit him with some big stuff. Can we get a charge point for Sasha? 
Yep, but we didn't need it. Okay, tricky, pretty tricky mission. Pretty tough one, but we did it. Uh, let's just get out of here. We're not going to tempt fate. We're not going to, you know, look to take down any more walkers or anything. Getting those survival points in. Let's do one more, shall we? Uh, yep. And this is just so good. If we can, if we can just get through twenty A B C right from right from the start, I I just think. It puts you in a, a winning frame of mind. I highly recommend it. Obviously, if you can't do the very tippity-top toughest missions, that's okay. Do push yourself. Do try to do the most you can, the toughest missions you can. You can probably handle tougher missions than you think you can. Do we want to do that? Well, yes, we do. <laughs> what have we got? We've got some armored walkers. We've got that spiky. There's nothing there's nothing too scary here. This map seems a little more favorable. One thing that we do have is that we have walkers appearing every single turn, as opposed to there being a threat counter that's got to reach zero before new walkers spawn in. There you go, that spiky just, just collapsed. Just dropped dead. Couldn't take the heat, literally. May as well kill that armored walker. Obviously, special walkers are worth more uh, uh, XP. So. Kill six walkers. Don't mind if I do. Nice big charge attack there. Nice big charge attack there. Boom. And one more for good luck. All right. Breezing through it this time. Great stuff. We'll call it a day there. Uh, I'm going to get straight on with the next video, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.